Hey y'all, what's up? Willis here. Let's take a tour of my shop. In here we have 7,500 square feet of space that we no longer need. So we're going to completely refigure this whole place. You can see here we pulled out equipment that we had taken out of production. We're getting everything tooled back up and cleaned and ready to go. We have a shaper, another shaper, a bandsaw. We have a Halsey molder, very cool piece of equipment. Our planer, another table saw right there. That table saw came out of my father's cabinet shop, so I'll keep that forever. All right, follow me. Over here is where we do most of our work. You see everything is set up for cabinet building, and we are going to completely change it from top to bottom. We're going to clean it up. We're going to set it the way I want it. This wasn't necessarily my workstation, so I'm going to set it the way I want it. And we're going to eliminate all the trash. All the trash. New day. The end of 2020. And the beginning of 2021. I, I just realized something. I know that you saw all these boxes, right? And everybody's going to be wondering what's inside these boxes. Well, this is still my cabinet business. These are pre-manufactured cabinets that are sold going to projects. And when that project is ready, they'll be loaded back up on the trucks and sent out for the installers. Now you know what's in all the boxes. I wanted to quickly show you some of the other equipment that we have that we've been using off and on. But I got a couple of tables here. They're nothing but small, cabinet tables that we mounted a router in underneath. And for you guys working in your garages, that's one of the best thing you could possibly do because see, I have two of them. You can change out these bits. You can make it do a lot of things on a really good budget. We also have a pocket hole cutter that cuts the pocket holes in the back of what used to be our face frames for cabinets, but we'll use it to connect some other stuff together. This is the hinge machine. It bores the hole for the cabinet hinges, and it also inserts the hinge. We have an edge sander and a line bore machine. This basically drills any holes for uh, adjustable shelves and things like that. What we have here is a whole rack full of leftover trim, crown moldings, all types of different trim. And for two and a half years, I've been looking at this rack full of trim, wondering what I was going to do with it. Well, about two weeks ago, I realized this will be perfect. So keeping all this trim has turned out to be a good thing after all. And we're going to pull from this stock for a long time. I'm really excited that y'all come on this journey with me. And I can't wait to get started. See you soon.